So welcome to this tutorial for this week. Lots of people have been asking how do you use these mobile templates that I've created for you. And so some are built around buttons and some are built around tables. So it's just a matter of downloading the template and then customizing it for your own use. So let's just download this template. So just click on the download. Depending on your computer system, uh, I'm using Windows 7, so it just brings it up and I can now extract the files. Otherwise, you might have to use a zip program if you're using XP or some other program. So we just go extract and I'm going to put it in my, my mobile site folder and I just go OK and extract. And here it is, it's extracted it here for me, theme one. So here are all the files. Now all we do is open up our composer and go in here and create a new site and we'll call it theme one. You can change it to whatever you like. And then just go select directory where it's been put. Uh, it's very important that you are organized with your directory so it's easy to find everything. And we we'll just choose the theme one and go OK and OK. And so now here's our theme ready to work on. We open up the index file. Here's a tutorial on how you can change that index file, so I won't go through that here. But now it's just a matter of just changing this text to whatever you want to put in there. And link it as we've shown you in the other tutorials. Now all these links here, you can change this text if you want to, just highlight it and type over the top. But each of these buttons then correspond to a page. So in here, we've got the About page. And obviously, once you change this header, it's going to be the same on all pages. And so here, again, you just change this text and enter in whatever you want. That's how you change one of the themes. So each one has a corresponding page. Now with the contact page, obviously I've put in a contact here. However, go to the tutorial on how to add a contact page and just do that. One of the things I've been finding is the Find Us, these maps can be a little bit slow loading. So I tend to now put a graphic in here and link it to the map, which means then that it'll open up in Google Maps and it'll be a mobile version for you. Uh, do a link which opens a new page. So just delete this one and put in a graphic, apply the class structure that you want and then just click on it and go to your links like we show you in the tutorials and that will give you the link to the mobile map which is a lot better. And so basically all the other pages are fairly simple. Just put in your little graphics, change the text, do whatever you want to customize it. If we have a look at the solicitor page, this one works a little bit different in that it works on tables. And so, as you can see, if you click on business law, it looks like it's dropped down, but in actual fact, we've just used a table for this. So let's just open up that one and show you how that looks. So here's the solicitor theme with the tables. We'll just close that and we won't save it at the moment and we just look at the index. And so this is just a table. So what you'll find is, all I did was create this initial page, then just save it as the different pages. So you can see here, I've got criminal, family, law, about, etc. If we go into accident, all I actually did here was create four tables, and then to put this information in there, all I did was click enter and typed in some information. So these are actually just working on tables to present a sort of a toggle system. And once again, you can just go in and change any of this text you like. And you can change the headings as well. Just remember when you're changing headings in this one, that you need to change them in every page. And so that's how you do the solicitor one. This is one just using tables instead of graphics to go to the pages. So as you can see, some we've used tables to create the management and others we've used 
graphics to go to the different pages. This one we've used icons to go to the different pages. So it works exactly the same. You just click on the different pages and change whatever you want. And so that's the basic system. As you can see, this one's using tables to link to the page. And so that's how easy it is just to use some of the different templates. And as you can see, they all work pretty well. You can just change the information in there how you like. If you have any more questions about how to use the templates, please get back to me and I'll do some more tutorials for you.